Jumbo, fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley, happy Friday. I'm sure you're ready for the weekend. I know I am. Uh, welcome to another spiritual, spiritual tune-up where I answer your questions. Please post your questions below today, and I may get to them first of next week. So here we go. Today, the question, if you forgive, but it still hurts, does that mean that you didn't really forgive? Now, this is such a poignant question for probably a reason you haven't suspected. Um, usually, forgiveness deals with anger, and that's not what the questioner asked. It didn't say if you forgive, but you're still angry. It said if you forgive, but you still hurt. Does that mean I didn't really forgive? Big difference. And you might have a little bit of both feelings, but here's the deal. If you have forgiven somebody, but yet you feel anger, you didn't forgive them. If you have forgiven somebody, but you still feel hurt, it's not them, but you, yourself, that you haven't forgiven. In either scenario, you've let the illusions, however, and your misunderstanding of your place within them override your feelings to a point that your feelings are happening to you based on the filter of your beliefs and what's going on. So a couple of ideas to help you here a little bit is to realize that, that in the illusions, in spite of appearances, you're always in the driver's seat. There's always order. There's always meaning and there's always a purpose to everything that unfolds and that purpose has to do with your greatest desires your most passionate loves and your greatest fears and I don't want to spin this into a direction where you know blame the victim blame the victim uh, I already talked about that at great length in earlier spiritual tune-ups just look on Facebook and or Instagram uh, for the different uh, 100 prior tune-ups and you'll see where I take a deep dive into that. But let's realize that we are here by choice as gladiators of love and joy. And in this early arc of the evolution of consciousness, we often manifest unintentionally more than we do intentionally. We think the world is happening to us and people are doing things that we don't have control over instead of realizing at this early stage that we have total control Everything that happens, happens with order, meaning, and love, no matter how hideous, and that the best is yet to come. Whatever has happened will set you up for greater things, more compassion, deeper love. The more you've been hurt, the greater your capacity for joy in the future, contrary to appearances. So if it's anger you're dealing with, that means you think other people have a say in how your life unfolds and you think earlier circumstances could have detracted from where you would otherwise be. These are big lies. You are deep in hypnosis, hypnotized by the illusions. Take this invitation to realize you're still sitting on your throne, that all is well. That doesn't mean the person should be excused. That doesn't mean they didn't do wrong. That doesn't mean that it's your fault. It does mean that you, from this point forward, are going to recognize your kingdom or your queendom and thereby not let this stuff happen again. Okay, if you're feeling <clears throat> the hurt, and it's not about anger anymore, clearly you feel that earlier circumstances have diminished your ability for joy today, big lie, and made you somehow less going forward. I can't tell you how many times I have stubbed my toes, metaphorically. I can't tell you how many times my heart has been shattered into a million pieces. I can't tell you how many evenings I wondered if I would ever be happy again. But all of those things passed. And I look back at those earlier follies and those earlier slights and those earlier jabs and wounds and I look at them as training wheels like a little kid learning to ride a bike 
training wheels so that one day you can ride without the training wheels. I view those earlier experiences as practice for the really good stuff that's coming my way and your way. I no longer view them, oh, that was my one chance to find true love. Oh, that was the one person who really understood me. Lies, 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 lies. Okay, get out of there. Get over it. Move forward. Doesn't matter your age. Doesn't matter where you are. There is always hope. Things keep getting better. You're an eternal being. That stuff that happened is temporary. It was an invitation for greatness moving into the light, going where you've never gone before, and you are poised for being even more awesome than you knew to dream of being. Nice and easy today. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Please post your questions below about life, dreams, happiness, anything under the sun, and I will answer them as soon as possible. I'll either type you a personal answer in the space below on Facebook or on Instagram, and or <clears throat> I'll bring your question front and center for the whole world to hear the answer. So, Taliho Amigo, and specifically Gina, Jenna, Chris, Kim, Judith, Kristen, on Facebook and in Instagram, Tamara, okay, animal Reiki lady, you are a permanent fixture on my discussion board. Thank you, Angel. Uh, let's see, Mike, Christina, Skinny Bunny Manifestation. Oh, you are on it. All right, Tallyho amigos, see you on.